With eight people, it showed a lot of heart, a lot of heart that we were able to accomplish so much with so little. Detroit, one, two, three. Detroit! Let's go. We have a lot of fight in us, and like we're not gonna back down, no matter who we're playing. Very proud of how we finished, very proud of how we competed this year, um, and very just proud of the effort that the team gave us and how they came together as a team. We have three captains, you know, Rosie um, is one of them, and she leads more by example. Uh, and Rosie's one of our better players, so a lot of our players look up to her. Uh, she's also an all-conference player, so she, re she gains a lot of respect because of her uh, on-court ability. But she's also a young lady that carries herself well off the court. Uh, Haley does a very good job. She, she's a hard worker. You know, she, she's in the gym early, she's in the gym late, and, but she's also very smart as a basketball player so she can point people in the right direction on the floor. And then um, Shay is just, I always tell Shay, you know what you're gonna get from her every day. Um, she's gonna go to battle for not only our staff but her team and she speaks up, she tells people uh, how she feels. She, she doesn't care um, if she hurts anyone's feelings and I think as a captain you got to have that when you have two young ladies that are more of a lead by example. So they all bring something different but the one thing they all have is that they're great people. One day at practice, she just turned into somebody. We were like, who are you? And from there on, she was unstoppable. The go-getter, <laughs> getting all the points. I mean, it's crazy because last year, she wasn't put in a position where she could, you know, play a lot and show what she's made of. So this year, like, it was her breakout year, and I'm so proud of her. Like, I'm so, every time she scores, it's so good to just, like, get up and cheer for her because she, she works so hard. As the year progressed, everyone was like, hey, no one can guard you, no one can stop you. And then once I got that mentality, everything just picked up. She was the best post player in the conference. And, you know, she improved her scoring average by 12 points from last year. Uh, she was one of the top uh, finishers in the league. So without her, we don't have the type of season we had. Uh, very proud of her, and I expect her to do even bigger things next year. Yeah, you're going to watch us for 40 minutes during a game, but you don't see like the countless hours we've spent practicing and going at each other. And like like Coco, like, like she's gotten better, but then you don't see uh, our red shirt, uh, Courtney, like helping her and like trying to make her better in practice. And it kind of just shows like all the work we've put in like over the summer and um, the hours before you actually see us playing. I think that pass was intended for Cohen. Malone got it. Back to Reynolds. Looking for a thousand. Left hand off the square and in. She's got it. The milestone bucket for Rosanna Reynolds. It's a great honor for any player at any level, and it was great to see Rosie become the 20th player to do that here at the University of Detroit Mercy. So we're happy for her as a team, but I'm sure Rosie would tell you that it's not really about her. She really just cared about what we did as a team. I was just more, con I'm more concerned more about the season and actually winning. Um, I mean, it's just another number, I think, in my head, but I mean, it's still a great accomplishment because not many people get to have a thousand points in their career. Um, so, I mean, it was, a, it was a special day for me, but 
I'm more concerned about getting to bigger and better goals. We're happy for it. I just want her to keep adding to that thousand now, so, uh, which she will do. All right. Very, very proud of Lola Roskowski. Shot the ball very well. She was one of the top three-point shooters in the league. Um, Brittany Jackson came in and gave us good minutes at the point guard spot and hit some big threes during the season for us um, as well. And then and Taylor Malone gave us some, some minutes when we had to get Haley out of the game um, where she came in and, and played solid for us. So I look for them all to improve even more next year and look for them all to help us again. Yeah. Like the great thing about Coach Scott is he's very family oriented and um, knowing he came in and like treated us like, like his own kids, like he like on the court, yeah, he'd get angry at us and yell and like try and make us better, but off the court you knew like he cared about you and he wants you to be the best student athlete you can be. So I think that was the main part um, and that's uh, one of the great reasons he's a great coach. He turned the whole team around, like made it. He made basketball fun, really, like, you know. Really, we're all in. Myself, my staff, my family, uh, we're all in for turning this program around, and uh, we're on the right track. We we Very go. happy with the culture we're building and with the young ladies we have returning and the young ladies we're bringing in. So uh, we're, we're going in the right direction. Some like important aspects that he was going to focus on was family and just bringing the team together and changing the culture that we had last year. But this year it's like, okay, who needs to go grocery shopping? Everyone's getting in the car to go grocery shopping. Um, we all wanted ear piercings. We all went together to get our ears pierced. Like, those are things that we didn't do last year. I feel like we made that bond and we're all sisters. We just have become a lot closer and become like more of a family, I guess. And I think that really helped us win games because we wanted to win for each other and for the coaches, so that helped. Family! Well, everyone's coming back, everyone wants to contribute, so that means everyone's gonna be working hard this summer. And that's really exciting. I'm looking for us to have a great season next year. Uh, we were 15 and 15 this year with eight. Uh, I believe we can do even better with, you know, 11, 12.